Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for spending some time with me today. It's always appreciated. Today I'm in Pasco, Washington and we are visiting the Home Boys. And what I found for us today is a huge five bedroom home built by Clayton. It comes from the Tempo series. It's known as Hey Jude. So let's hop on outside. I'm gonna tell you all about this home. So if you're in the market for a big home with plenty of bedrooms and a great amount of flex space, you might have just stumbled on the perfect home tour. Like I said, we are looking at the Hey Jude, which comes from the Tempo series. Now this massive home is a five bed, two bath. It sits at 1,920 square feet. It's got plenty of flex space in there and taking a look at the siding and this exterior, it is looking rather nice. The base price for a home like this is just about $169,000, which is greatly affordable. So let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everybody, let's see what the Hey Jude has to offer us today. Walking in, as you see, an open concept floor plan. We've got eight foot sidewalls with a flat ceiling and a nice sized living room. I see we've got vinyl flooring and carpet throughout half of the home here. So it is mixed in a nice big window there and I'm loving that chandelier. The size of this living room everyone is 17 feet 8 inches by 12 feet 8 inches and before we get going hey do us a favor leave a like on this video it always helps the channel out helps this video get out to more people and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so then that way you'll be alerted to when all of these home tours are posted you'll be the, one of the first ones to see it so do that and now we're walking into the kitchen area as you see here what i like about what they're doing with their their style of kitchen lately with with uh, clayton is they have your refrigerator over there kind of separating your dining room i like that coming on over here taking a look at the grand space of the kitchen you see this is an eat-in counter which is cool we have this home set up for the stainless steel appliance package and a nice um industrial range style hood right there with a glass top stove that's nice now of course you know you can always change to black appliances or white appliances if you like in that ordering process but hey take a look at that uh, cupboard that was some nice construction right there spinning around taking a look at everything this does come with a dishwasher that is nice we have some storage underneath your uh, island hair which is an added plus you know, nice big open area, pots, pans. What would you put down there? Let me know. Um, and then spinning around over here, taking a look, we have a nice uh, dual sink with a gooseneck faucet that does pull down and a nice little um, window right above. It does open. So that is nice. And some more storage here. Taking a look. Adjustable shelves. Pretty darn nice so far. I like the uh, color scheme they got going on. This nice light brown with the uh, the countertop. That is a nice touch. That is looking nice. And then, yeah, take a look. We're going to go take a look over here. Now, this is the first of three flex spaces. And this area right here is seven feet, seven inches across. And I think it's about seven feet um, the other way. Um, I personally was trying to think of what I would do with this space. I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe an upright freezer, an extra refrigerator, a freezer. What would you do with this flex space? Because right next door to that flex space is the um, laundry area. You know, right here, you have a shelf right there up top. Plenty of room for your side-by-sides. And then we have two doors over here on the other side. And what are behind these doors? Your water access, which is nice because, you know, if you follow the channel and you know about manufactured housing, sometimes these are in the most unopportune places, in my opinion. And right here, it's great because you have your HVAC furnace system right here, right next door to your water access. So that is all nice and dandy all-inclusive one spot and along with your HVAC I did notice that the registers are on the floor so your air conditioning and heating are coming from below so just to let you know and see like I, I like that I like the, the way they have um, you know um, not crowded but surrounded the refrigerator giving it some more you know storage you could do your cans your boxes things you know etc etc I like that little touch and it also helps separate that dining room because more often than not it's an open concept floor plan 
and sometimes you do want that little bit of separation and this kind of gives it so you know walking into this flex space number two is what they pretty much call it which i pretty much call it a dining room um the the size here 11 feet 8 inches by 12 feet 8 inches i do like uh what they did there that was kind of like a faux chandelier i don't think that comes with the home as you see we have can lights throughout this whole home so that is li li lighting up this home rather well if i can get that word out and now let's take a look at the uh, the guest areas over here this first bedroom right off to your right is nine feet by 12 feet 8 inches and you see we have a bunk bed in here to kind of give you a reference of size nice big window lots of natural light less electricity bill when the kids are playing inside see and you know what let's be awesome today everyone let's be awesome today i love that sign walking into this walk-in closet right here you know the size of these walk-in closets are about three feet um across so actually they're, they're decently sized you can fit a lot in there in my opinion it's pretty nice and this is only one of five bedrooms so we're going to keep going and taking a look but first let's walk into the uh, the gas bath here and see what we got what we have is a single vanity right here with a nice countertop some storage underneath um, and a uh, little shelf there um, right there we have a sh floating shelf um, which is a nice touch it uh, makes this uh, restroom look even nicer and then right over here you have your standard 30 by 60 wraparound shower tub combo that um, is nice because you know when they're when they're one piece they're built all the way across the wall you have less of an opportunity of any kind of water or anything else kind of you know going into your walls and and so forth so all of that is nice and sealed pretty cool right over here you have your um, toilet elongated toilet separated by a little tiny wall there it's pretty cool and the situation, you know, like where it's situated is nice because, you know, uh, this is where all the guest areas are. These are all the bedrooms, um, their de uh, family area over here. So that's a good spot because, you know, little ones, you got to go. They got to go. Now, in this second uh, bedroom, this second bedroom is the smallest out of all of them. This is nine feet by nine feet, eight inches. Um, it's a good amount of room. You can definitely fit, you know, a twin bed in here. But, you know, I would personally see it more as a home office if you have that room and if not it's it's actually a decent size for a lot even that even a craft room if you wanted to um this is the smallest of the uh, closets in the home so just to let you know there and now let's keep on keeping on now the next area over here we have the flex space number three we're going to take a look at uh, in a moment but first, let's walk into the uh, guest bedrooms and take a look. This one is the biggest of the guest rooms, uh, sitting at 9 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 8 inches. And like I said, we have uh, three foot across um, walk-in closets. Nice big uh, window there letting that natural light in. But um, the size of the closets, it's nice. You have, you know, um, the wire shelves, but you have two wire shelves on either side. And like I said, it's about three feet uh depth i'm not sure about the width but it's a good amount of size for all all you need to store to be honest in my opinion let's go check out that's what one two this is the third bedroom now let's check out the fourth bedroom and this one is nine feet four inches by 12 feet eight inches so just a touch smaller uh, again nice big window letting that light light in we have some nice uh some basic crown molding but that does help with the look of the base molding i think that's about a four inch ba base molding looks really nice um, the carpet is good carpet in here and then again the uh, walk-in closet pretty decently sized in my opinion what do you think let me know in the comments below those are the guest bedrooms and like I said, if you're in the market for a home with lots of bedrooms and lots of space for family, this is it, let me tell you. And then we also have a, uh, a closet, another like linen closet or just closet in general, right here at the end of the hallway. So, you know, not only you have storage within the bedrooms, but you do have storage a little bit here in the hall. So that is nice. And now let's take a look at this flex area. Now this is the third flex area, which I would kind of call as a family room den or, or whatnot. Um, the size 
of this room is 11 feet by 12 feet, 8 inches. Um, what would you do with this space? You know, personally, this would be like all the kids' stuff. This is where the kids would play. You know, keep their room semi-clean or vice versa. <laughs> Actually, strike that. Reverse it. Keep that clean. Keep their bedrooms. You know, but this would be a place great for the kids. And, you know, if you want to know more about this home, some of the, fun uh, some of the things you could change, functionalities, everything else, you know, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see uh, 3D tours, photos, check out some videos. But most importantly, get that, that, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and find out where you can see this in person. So click on that to learn more. And now, as you see, we have made ourselves, made our way to the primary. This is uh, 13 feet 4 inches by 12 feet 8 inches and a decent amount of room in this bedroom. Um, as a primary, I like it. It's not so bad here good amount of space another big walk-in closet let's go take a look at that and this one's actually a little bigger this one's actually four feet um, so this one's bigger than the other ones um, gives you a little more uh, room to store um, and like you see there we have a dresser there that kind of gives you some size referencing we have a queen bed sitting in here you can easily fit a king really a great amount of, of space in here and now we are in the primary bath as you see we have the dual vanities, two separate mirrors, and some storage underneath, which is nice. They have kept with the same wood motif throughout the entire home, so this nicely nicely matches the kitchen colors. We have an opening right over here. Um, you know, you could do your hampers or, or whatnot, but that's just like an open area right there. Um, I have a little bit of space over here right underneath that uh, window as well, which is nice. And then back here, this is where the toilet is. Another elongated water saving commode for the restroom here. And we have a 42-inch uh, shower here. Nice shower ahead. One piece, wrap around. No worries about any kind of water, mold, or anything. We have two seats there with about a six-inch lip. So, it'll, you know, to step out, it's about six inches there. But a, it's a nice size uh, nice size primary bath and uh, primary room, in my opinion. Um, what do you think? Let me know about it in the comments below, what you think about this home, um, what you would change about it, or anything else like that. Um, but thank you, everybody, for joining me here up in Pasco, Washington, here at The Homeboys, where, again, we are taking a look at the Temple Series, Hey Jude, which is a five-bed, two-bath. But I'll see you next time, wherever that home tour is going to be. Remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, have a great day, and travel easy.